Times like these really make me wanna scream. I can't let go, I need control. I feel alone and I could really use a team. I'm all on my own and it feels like home. And all these emotions are subliminal. And every single one feels criminal. So I think it's time I hit the interstate. I'll deal with this another day. Hey. It's a lovely day to feel insane What a lovely day to torture my brain Get me out, I've been drowning for so long It's a lovely day to feel insane Until they turn into a dream And I lose hope I tell me things that I don't mean All these emotions are subliminal And every single one feels criminal So I think it's time I hit the interstate I'll deal with this another day it's a lovely day to feel insane What a lovely day to torture my brain
Hej och välkommen here at what goes around comes around's live shopping experience. That was hello and welcome in the lovely language of Danish because here on today's bag brunch show, we are doing Copenhagen style. That is correct. Basically almost every Sunday since the past few weeks, we have been choosing a different city to style it and it's been having so much fun. So let's go north. We've been doing so many different tropical areas like Latin America, we did a little bit of Europe, we've been doing some, you know, more tropical towns, you know, we did Argentina recently, I think it was Buenos Aires style, but now in Positano style, but now let's go north to the Vikings and let's take a look at all the things the Scandinavians would wear, especially Danes, Danish for Copenhagen style, I believe that's their capital or just one of the biggest cities in Denmark, but Denmark, actually very interesting, is the second happiest country in the world and one of the coldest as well. So let's bring out some bags that just make us so happy because the Danish, they love not only a good minimal effort, but they love a good over the top. They love prints. They almost love the American style a lot, but super over the top American style. So I feel like I'm very Danish today. I got my blue jean Levi's on. I got some Adidas uh, sneakers. Came with these, the Sambas. I got my vest because it's cold there and just like a nice basic t-shirt because that's how they do it. And then they have really loud and over the top accessories. So our first item we're starting with is this guy. I mean, if this doesn't scream like in the cold, like Danish weather, like this just, I, the Danes probably wouldn't wear this, but this is just more like what I'm thinking if you're like in a cold country. This is the Fendi Brown fur tote bag with gorgeous, gorgeous, Gunmetal hardware. I love this piece. It's so cool. This is $5,950. It's no longer basically in production. Beautiful, beautiful goat hair. Gorgeous piece. Look at this. And this is just give like almost like winter vibes. Like I would definitely want to go skiing with this piece. This piece is so cool. It'd be so much fun, but it basically just reminded me of like Danish of like Scandinavian, like Viking culture. Like you know how they always wear those pelts and the furs you always see in the shows and the Viking hat. That's what I see here, the horns. So I'm talking about the horns. $5,950 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. And by the way, the Danish culture has something called heiska, I mean heiska is how you say it, but basically it's where you just relax. It's the art of doing nothing. Literally like, and it's all about cozying up on your favorite candles, blankets, and you basically are just calm in all of that. So let me know if anyone is tuning in from Denmark, Sweden, uh, Iceland, fin Finland, and Norway. Let me know if we have any Scandinavian audience members today. But I love this piece, $5,950 for this gorgeous item. Let's look at the interior. The interior is lined with beautiful, beautiful canvas. Look at that, virtually nowhere to this item. $5,950. Now, let's pull out another item. This is a great piece because the Danes love traveling. They love kind of going out and about. This is a gorgeous piece. This is the Gucci Black Techno Canvas Web Backpack. I mean, some of the best music, some of the best techno music that we actually have comes from especially Europe, but Scandinavia and like Germany. So this is like the perfect backpack for all the festivals, anything for midsummer, which is a fun holiday, basically because in the northern countries, there's basically no light sometimes. Like, especially if you go more north, it gets super, super dark or stays dark 24 seven during the winter or it stays light during the summer. And it could be like 2 a.m., especially if you're in northern parts of Scandinavia and it's just light all the time. So it's always basically a fun time to party. So this is the perfect backpack for that. This is $1,950. Look, this even goes really well with my outfit today. Look how fab. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's so easy. You can literally pair this with anything. If you're wearing all black, if you're wearing, you know, a little more casual look. And I love that you have these top handles here. It's very much like the sweetest backpack that you see all the time around, especially here in America, the Fugan. But this piece, gorgeous. Look at this. Look at that interior. Beautiful. Oh, got some dust bags over. Gorgeous piece. Look, you even have two slip pockets here. You have a zip pocket in the back as well, nylon, so it's easy to clean, especially if you're taking this out or anything like that. It's Savage5249, hello, welcome to the chat. Thank you so much for having us. I know, it's cool, right? 
This is a cool, cool backpack, especially with that web stripe. That is signature Gucci. Gucci loves a good web stripe. Oop, got a little fur from our last little friend that we had with us. But beautiful piece here. That webbing is actually basically a strap that goes underneath the horse's stomach to hold the saddle up. That's what inspired this webbing stripe we see on Gucci items. And I love it because they sometimes refer to it as a racing stripe as well. Once again, the horse, the, the car racing as well. Who is into like Formula One racing? I've kind of been obsessed with it recently. Really, really obsessed with the Formula One racing recently. So and let me know who your guys' favorite car brand is. I think I'm like a big fan of the Aston Martin team. I know like it's like controversial, but I do love, I just love Aston Martin as well. But $1,950 for this piece. This is adjustable shoulder straps as well. This piece virtually has no wear to it, just faint, faint scratching to the hardware, but other than that, this is in excellent, excellent condition. $1,950 for this stunning piece right here. All right, let's bring out our next item. By the way, if you see any items behind me that you want to see, just let me know. Be happy to pull it out. By the way, we are coming to you guys live basically from TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and then of course Amazon.com slash what goes around comes around and what goes around NYC.com. So if you want to shop any of these items, you have to head over to Amazon or our own main platform, what goes around NYC.com. We've pinned the links for you guys in all of the chats. Now this piece. Love, love, love this item. This is the Gucci Brown Original DG Canvas Diana Bamboo Hobo Bag in the size large. I mean, look at this bamboo handle. This is like one of the largest bamboo handles I've ever seen. So the Diana Bamboo Bag was first introduced in 1991 and it was popularized by and then named after Princess Diana, the Princess of Wales. So that is why this bag. Diana, I mean, I have to take a look. I really need to do a poll. Who has the most bags named after them? I bet it's either Princess Diana or Kate Moss. One of the two has the most bags named after them. But look at this, so large, it even fits over my shoulder. Remember, I'm six foot five, so I'm a large guy. So this always, the bags always, they fit over me, they'll fit over you. And we love a good giant hobo. It's very Jackie Onassis meets Princess Diana in a way, because the fold over top here is very kind of cool, very Diana, very forward, different. But the handle, the hobo style is very Jackie O and very much that classic style there. What I love also is you have this gorgeous interior along with something that so amazing is a shoulder strap, which we'll get to here in a second. Look at that stunning beige interior with the zip pocket. Beautiful, beautiful chocolate brown leather base as well. Absolutely stunning item. Look at this. You easily can throw this shoulder strap on and it makes the bag perfect for crossbody usage, especially if you're like Princess Diana and always with the kids running around, but look how chic that looks. And I love that the handle just kind of hangs out. It's just chic adds like a little piece of detail there. Such a great piece. It's only $1,255. It's no longer in production either. So the only place to get it is on the pre-love market. And where else are you gonna find this amazing of a condition of Diana bag? I mean, the canvas basically has virtually no wear to it. Gorgeous, gorgeous gold hardware on it. Faint, faint scratch into it, but other than that, this piece is in excellent, excellent condition. Gorgeous, look at that. And I just love, love, love the bamboo handle. Bamboo, by the way, if you were here yesterday, Gucci started using bamboo around the 1940s, I would say, because they needed it to, there were really no luxury materials around because everything was so scarce after the war. So they, and during the war as well, so they decided to start producing bamboo because bamboo is fast growing, it's a grass, so it easily can grow fast and be petrified to use as uh, basically house materials or a material for a bag. So, gorgeous right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and we just got a new follower on Amazon, D. Thank you so much for the follow. We really appreciate it. If you wanna be like D, follow us on amazon.com slash what goes around comes around so you don't miss a moment of me or any of these gorgeous bags right here. Like this one, once again, can you believe this only $1,255 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. All right, and now we have a new brand, guys, that we have just brought on to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around. 
So I'm really excited for this one because it is just launched basically. And always keep an eye out because we're constantly launching new brands. This is a vintage Burberry brown Haymarket check canvas weekender in the size large. I love this piece because this is so cool. This is actually pre them renaming it. So this piece is a Burberry's. So basically Burberry was established in 1856 by Thomas Burberry and it was first called Burberry's. Bur Burberry's. Burberry's is like an apostrophe S sometimes. No apostrophe depending on the piece you see at the time. So that is why you still sometimes see Burberry's at the time and moment there. But this is one of the vintage pieces before they changed the name in 1999. Absolutely incredible, incredible item. Also, Tony, thank you so much for following us on Amazon as well. We love all our followers, guys. We're gaining so many followers, it's great. So to get more, just head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around to follow us. This piece, so cool. I mean, everyone needs a weekender. And like I said, secretly, the Danes, they love British, they love American style. So kind of amazing here. And this one is gorgeous canvas. Look, you have the five feet on the bottom. That leather is in great condition, just some minor press marks, but other than that, this is in amazing, amazing condition. I also love this because look, just similar to like a Louis Vuitton almost, you can lock this if you need to. Beautiful, it's so lightweight as well, which is the amazing part. I absolutely love this gorgeous side. Now it does not have a shoulder strap, but it does have a zip pocket on the interior with the Knight's Guard lining as well. I'm not going to pull out all the stuffing for it, but there's nowhere to the interior here. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And believe it or not, Burberry was basically one of the very first items, one of the first like luxury brands. At the time, it was just kind of a sports, like a rain brand, a brand that was great for, you know, usage out in the wild, the real wild. But basically Burberry was the first luxury brand to reach the Arctic Circle. Hello, Copenhagen style. And basically when a Scandinavian explorer actually took it with them to the Arctic Circle. Isn't that amazing? So Burberry was like the first brand to make it there. And then the Burberry check was actually first released in the 1920s and they trademarked it, but it was originally used for to line their rainwear. And then a buyer basically from one of the stores cut out the lining one day to protect her luggage. And since then we now see it on the exterior and they trademarked it as well, which I love about this. Look, we have a gorgeous, look at that. It's a beautiful side here as well, super easy. This piece is only $1,150. So if you're looking for something a little different, but similar to a Louis Vuitton keep all, this is the way to go. This is about a 50 centimeter. That's how I compare it to. But $1,150, beautiful leather trim on it as well. And Burberry has just been added to our Amazon. So like I said, we're adding new brands all the time, which is very, very exciting. Okay, next we have da, 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 a good waist bag. I mean, Copenhagen style, very streetwear style as well. Everyone loves a waist bag, especially the Scandinavian. Chanel, this is a Chanel white caviar captain, gold waist pouch in a beautiful white caviar leather as well. Beautiful piece, I mean, white. Guys, white on the pre-love market, almost impossible possible to find, but guess what? We have it right here for you. That's right, and look at this condition. Absolutely stunning, virtually nowhere to it. Beautiful. Faint, faint scratch into the hardware, but other than that, like hairline. Other than that, this is in impeccable condition. Absolutely iconic and beautiful, wow. I mean, I'm always just like floored by the condition of these items. Let's look at the interior here. It's in a beautiful metallic gold and that's to match the gold lines, the four lines you see here on the front. This is called the Captain Bad, the Captain Waste Pouch. So this is from the spring, the cruise, sorry, the 2019 cruise collection. And that was basically named after the Pulsa, which is the town that Coco Chanel basically had her summer house in, in the south of France. And she was the one who really made, basically the first designer to make it vacation clothes were like a thing. So they weren't beforehand, but she made it happen. And Deauville was the first time she launched it in 1919. And then Loposa was one of the houses she had. 
And this was one of Karl Lagerfeld's, I mean, he passed away in 2019, so this was close to the end of one of his last collections, sadly. But $4,500 is still a Karl Lagerfeld era piece. I love it because this is detachable, so you can wear this as a clutch if you'd like. You even have a slip pocket back here. The bell is beautiful on its own, so you can wear this by itself. Basically, it's like a three for one because you have the waist, the pouch bag, you have the belt separately, and then you also have it as a clutch if you would like. Beautiful CC turn lock as well, $4,500 for this incredible item. By the way, let me know what you guys want to see next. Tons of gorgeous items behind me. I got it all here. Just got just about everything, so let me know what you guys want to see, and I'm more than happy to bring it out for you, okay? All right, let's bring out our next items. Next, I have another Burberry piece. I'm just really excited about Burberry being a part of our selection offering now. But this one, look at this, guys. And this is so cool. This is now like Burberry with its finest new kind of style. This piece, and this is so cool, you have like roses on it. It's almost like the Greek god up there, like Mount Olympus. So I love that with all of the different, what do you call that? The pillars on the side here. But this is the Burberry Multicolored Nylon Rucksack Backpack in a size medium with beautiful silver hardware. This is $1,350. And once again, we see here just paying it homage, it says Burberry's on the front. This is a newer collection under the Burberry line, but like I said, in 99, they changed it from Burberry's to Burberry after 150 years of it being Burberry's. So similar to like what Heidi Slomane did, we're calling it Saint Laurent in Paris instead of Yves Saint Laurent. So that's what I love about this piece here is that they still pay homage to the vintage style. We see that with the hay market and the Czech market print throughout it, gorgeous roses. And I love this because who doesn't love a backpack? And then I do love that these are just kind of more decorative. So you have easy access. It is a drawstring closure. Beautiful interior. Look at all that beautiful pink underneath it. It's almost like it was hiding with a little bit of the Knights there, the Knights Bridge. Comes with your Burberry dust bag. Black nylon interior with a zip pocket and a slip pocket as well. You then have this Basically, back here, it allows for the breathability, so this is functional. So you can wear this out and about, you can wear this to festivals, you can wear this wherever you need to. And that's what I love about this, because you can wear it if you are, you know, let's say in the south of France, or you are in Italy, Positano, this is a great place to wear it too. But even better in Copenhagen, because then you can wear it all around town, perfect bag for seeing the sights, going on one of the nature hikes and the beautiful things. They have all those islands, I believe, so you can go all the way around and see everything. Gorgeous item, and look at all the different pockets you have. So you can really put everything you need in there, easy access if you don't wanna open up the full sack. And it's a four snap closure, so it'll be protected, especially if you're traveling and all that. And then you have a little top handle here, which I love. Who doesn't love a top handle on a backpack? This piece is only $1,350. I love Burberry because, you know, if you're looking to just enter the market, if you're like, okay, let me buy my first piece, this is a great way to go, to just enter the luxury market. It's kind of like the gateway to luxury goods, Burberry is, because it's not too expensive. It's a great price point. You can easily enter into it with this. $1,350 for this beautiful piece. All right, next I have a really cool bag that basically, Burberry, I love when they redo this one. This is called the Burberry Black Haymarket Czech Zebra Print Canterbury Tote. Canterbury is a city in England, so obviously Burberry was, is an English brand. Basingstoke, Hampshire, England is where it was first brought about. So, I love that we have it here. I love that we have it because then it just becomes very English in a way. Only $900, this piece is no longer production, this, uh, print of it with the zebra over the Haymarket check. You get the little luggage tag, which I love. Faint scratch in the hardware, but other than that, there's virtually nowhere to this item. Look at that base. Absolutely stunning, only $900 for this item. Can you believe that? It's a below $1,000 at $900. Isn't that insane? Absolutely insane for this piece. 
the, this is the Burberry Haymarket Check Zebra Print Catenbury Tote. $900 for this gorgeous piece. All right, let's bring out a little Louie. Who's feeling a little Louie? Let me know, I also have Chanel, I have Fendi, I have more Louie, I got Gucci, I got it all guys, so let me know what you wanna see. Also a little bit of Dior, but let's bring out a little Louie while you guys are telling me what you wanna see next. Next, I have this beautiful Louis Vuitton. This is basically a, like a purplish, reddish, pink kind of all mixed together. Monogram m 3 t Speedy Bandolier 25. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Only $2,350. If you love a Speedy, I mean, who doesn't? I mean, we have to thank Audrey Hepburn for the size 25. This is an excellent piece and a great way to go for the Empyrean T. So Monogram Empyrean T was introduced in 2010 under a creative direction of Marc Jacobs, of course. And it's basically made of soft, durable calf leather that is embossed with the Monogram print. As you can see throughout here, so you have the Fleurs, you have the LV, beautiful gold hardware, faint scratch into it. This piece is from 2013. I am Lily Yam, Louis then Chanel. You got it. I'll bring out a little bit more Louis after this and we'll bring out some Chanel for you. I am Lillian. You've got it right there. All right, guys, once again, this piece is $2,350. The Speedy 25s are so hard to get. And I love you have the double zipper, the normal size Speedy and the monogram coated canvas, Demi Azur, the bandolier style only has the one zipper. So I do let you have this and it even goes down a little bit to the side to allow you more room to open it up. Beautiful piece. Do you know what's another good? Louis Vuitton Speedy bag, the SC bag, the Sofia Coppola bag. Google it. We get them from time to time, but they're hard to come by. Then you have this shoulder strap and look how long it is. You have the double length. You can maximize this because you can wear a cross body if you need to. Look at this hardware. I love a good piece of hardware. Who doesn't? This is amazing. Ooh, and you hear that? Listen to that snap onto here. So good. It's light, but perfect. And then the interior of this bag, very much like the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, you have that gorgeous, gorgeous striped interior there. Beautiful piece, $2,350. And I love how slouchy it kind of becomes. Great size and just a great little slouch to it. $2,350 for this beauty right here. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful piece. All right, let's move on to our next item. And let's always remember, we want to put the straps back just like this. You can even take an additional dust bag if you have it, and you can put it inside of the dust bag, or you can easily wrap it up just like this. So it protects that shoulder strap, protects the interior of your bag too and then just pop that stuffing right back on in. It's okay, it's not damaging the bag at all if you do have to open it up a little tighter. And then just make sure you always get those corners. So I always recommend doing that so your bag will stay nice and sturdy. And if you need to, always you can always take a little bit of the tissue paper or the newsprint paper that's unprinted and just stuff it onto the sides, turn it into like a piece of little vertical piece and <laughs> just stuff it down in there. This piece, $2,350 for this iconic item. All right. Let's bring out a little more Louis and then bring out some Chanel as requested. So the next Louis bag I have, this one, I mean, this is a piece of history and a treat. Oh my God, I love this piece. Look at this. This is the Louis Vuitton vintage black epi leather no weave in the science petite with gold brass hardware. So this piece is $1,095 from 1993 originally. The Epi collection, the leather, came out in 1985 and basically inspired by a piece they found in the archives from the 1920s. Pharrell Williams, who's now creative director of Louis Vuitton after taking over from Virgil Abloh after he passed away, just came out with an Epi line. I mean, amazing piece. It's kind of Epi reinvented, so this is the time to get Epi before we see the prices spike up. So don't miss out, you need to get this piece because we're gonna see it just skyrocket after here. We've already seen some of the pieces start to come out and they're incredible. So, if 
you want a vintage piece, this is the time to get it. This, the Noe bucket, basically harks back to a design from 1932, and basically Gaston Louis Vuitton, the grandson of Louis Vuitton, knew his friend was in the, a champagne producer, was in the industry, and was like, you know what, Gaston, make me a bag where I can carry five bottles of champagne to any party, any event I go to. And Gaston's like, I got you, bro. Not sure that's how they talked back then, but that's what I'm gonna go with, because I'm wearing like my, my vest today, my bro-y vest, as I feel. So that's what basically it was, and you're good to go. Now, Copenhagen, I know the Scandinavians, they love drinking as well. They love champagne, aquave, you got it all. So here we go, it's a perfect way, but it's basically like the OG bucket bag. Untie that there, easily opens up, gorgeous epi leather. You can believe for a full leather bag, only $1,100, $1,095 actually. <clears throat> Beautiful Alcantara lining. So Alcantara lining is basically a suede adjacent it's scratch resistant, water repellent, everything just rolls right off. The nice part is you also have this little key ring in here. So that is nice, so you can easily put on your keys or a pouch if you have one, very easily. You can leave it open, cinch it. But the way you have five bottles of champagne is four put upright and one went down in the middle upside down. So, good to go, right there. But it was named the Noe after the Bible story where Noah, he basically had the ark, the wooden ark, and after the flood, he became a winemaker. It was basically the first winemaker ever notated within the Bible or anything of the sorts. So that's what they named it after. Noe is Noah in French. $1,095. Easily goes over your shoulder. This is such a cool piece. And especially those, like the epi leather, it's an if you know, you know kind of thing. You know? And that's what I love about it. If you know, you know. You know? There we go. Look at me really using my vocabulary today, guys. <laughs> All right, let's bring out a Chanel piece, as I know that has been requested next. Let me know what else you guys want to see. I have tons of other beautiful items. Let's bring out, ooh, what Chanel piece should we do? Let's do, I got the piece. I got the item. Oh, the Diana's just falling on me back here, guys. All right, let's do this Chanel piece. This one's really beautiful. And it's so cool, it's so bubbly. Like I said, the Scandinavians, the Copenhagen style, they love kind of over the top, lots of details. And this piece, it's a classic, but it's still fun. A lot of texture to it. This is a Chanel black caskin bubble quilt camera bag. And as you can see why it's called a bubble quilt, it is quilted and puffed up even more. So we know the quilting on a bag already is a little puffed, as we can see on this piece. It's a little puffed, a little raised from that tight stitching but this is even more so, which I love, love, love that about this piece. So it's like dramatic over the top. We know Karl Lagerfeld, he always loved the fun, little dramatized things. Then you even get this padded shoulder strap here, the bubble shoulder strap from 2009, 2010. The camera bags, those were basically invented around the 70s, actually at a camera convention. So hence why it's called the camera bag, so you originally made to carry cameras, but such a perfect shape for anyone, it's timeless style. Gorgeous slip pocket here. This piece is $4,950. Gorgeous silver hardware all the way around. Let's look at that interior. Beautiful, beautiful black lining interior there. Stunning, look at that base. Virtually no wear to it whatsoever. $4,950 for this amazing, amazing piece. I just love this, it's just so much fun. Absolutely iconic. $4,950, you get that CC logo that Karl Lagerfeld famously brought to the exterior of bags. Coco Chanel oftentimes kept it on the interior. But I love this piece, because look, also the handles like never get crooked whatsoever. Like it easily, like this bag could, the handle could go under the bag, over top of it, and it easily fits just fine. Beautiful piece. I'm gonna let you guys take a look at this item just for a moment. Beautiful, beautiful.
So once again, this is the Chanel black bubble quilted camera bag with beautiful silver hardware from 2009 to 2010. Only $4,950 for this gorgeous item. All right, let's head back to a little bit of Louis. Why not? We love a Louis moment. Let me know once again if you guys want to see any other items behind me. But this piece I have coming out, this is really, really cool. This is the brand new, uh, brand new-ish, <laughs> Louis Vuitton red and monogram coated canvas, pop and court PM, the new model. So this is petite model, the smaller size of this bag. For those who don't remember the pop and court, the pop and court actually was a triangle shaped bag that originally came out. It had two cute, basically little charms on the end of it that were in the ball shape with the LV logo on it. It was discontinued. And then around 2017, Louis Vuitton released this style called the new pop and court. Absolutely incredible. I love this piece. I do not believe it is no longer in production. I have not seen it since on Louis Vuitton's website or anything, but that doesn't mean that they don't have it. And they just keep it as like an in-store exclusive. So this piece is from 2019. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Gorgeous red trim on it, right? I am Leanne Hem. We don't have Goyard today, but I will ensure to add that to our next upcoming shows. Goyard actually here sells out so quickly, but don't worry, I'll try to bring a few pieces for you guys. We had some yesterday. I am Leanna. I am, sorry, I am Leah, Liam. Apologies, I'm always gonna butcher these. It's these uh, Instagram names, I'm really sorry about that. But I am Lee. Leah, <laughs> sorry, yes. Well, um, yesterday I had Goyard on the show. I'll try to add some more for our upcoming shows for you. All right, <clears throat> this piece is $2,695. Beautiful gold hardware on it. I love this zipper pocket here in the front. It just adds a little something to it, you know? Gorgeous lock here as well. You can even lock this pocket if you need to keep anything in there. The keys are actually on the interior here of the closed shed as well. And I love this piece, it's very much just a classic style. So if you're looking for that classic shape, this is a great way to go. It's timeless, will never go out of style. You also get this long shoulder strap. So you can easily wear this over your shoulder. You can wear the bag cross body if you need to. Great bag for work, for travel or anything. 2019. And I love also you get two slip pockets on either side as well. Beautiful. And then what you can pair with this piece is this item. Look at this, look how cute this is. Great little gift to go with it. This piece is $2,695. You then can also add this beautiful heart shape Pouch, this is the Louis Vuitton Red Pomme d'Amour Pom, Pom Monogram Reyes Vanille Heart Coin Purse with beautiful gold hardware as well. It is even, look how long it is. I love this. So you can make this a bag charm if you wish, but what I would recommend with this piece is that you add your keys to it because the keys of the keys we use, that we put them in and out of our bags all the time, probably the most use that we get is putting the keys in and out. It will most likely damage the interior bag, I know from experience. Luckily, this bag is lined in the Alcantara lining, so it is more scratch resistant and stain resistant, but it could still happen. I mean, I have so many bags that it has happened to, so this is a great way to preserve the interior of your bags and the condition of your bags. Put the keys on this ring right here and it easily can go into the inside of this pouch here and you're all set. This also works as a great coin purse to carry jewelry around or anything else that you may need. But once again, you could even put it on like this. Like I said, it was a little bit long, but what you can do is you can always wear it like that on the bag. Look how cute that is. And the pouch is only $550 with a cute bag here with the pop and court. Absolutely love this. I mean, this is iconic. And this actually comes off the shoulder strap. So if you don't want the shoulder strap on, you want to just wear it as the two top handles there, then you could easily, easily do that. Only $2,695 for the bag. 
And there's a beautiful $550 for the pouch right there. All right. Let's move on to our next item. Let me know also what you guys want to see next. I also have Dior, I have Prada, I have Gucci, I have more Chanel, and I have a little bit of YSL as well. So let me know what you guys want to see. Speaking of YSL, let's go ahead and bring one of the YSL bags out. This is the Saint Laurent Chevron Leather Star Moon Basely Embroidered Leather Patches College Monogram Bag with beautiful antique silver hardware. This is Saint Laurent Paris, so it was designed under Heidi Slomane. It was originally released, the college bag, around pre-fall 2015. And I do love that they added this black, but then it has the stars and the moon on there. Very Copenhagen style because we do they do love just like the fun details like that. But also since sometimes it's always dark there, there you go, you're good to go. I am Leah, you got it. I'll bring out some Dior after this as well. But this is a beautiful piece, gorgeous antique silver hardware. Love that you have this top handle here, but guess what? Not only do you have that magnetic clasp, and look at this condition, absolutely incredible. You also get this chain shoulder strap here. And I do love that you have this little leather piece here, make it comfortable on the shoulder strap. I do love a chain on the shoulder strap as well, but sometimes when you really pack your bag full, it starts to get a little heavy and dig into you, but not with this, and that's why they really think of that. And that's why even Chanel, they put the leather weaving through their chain, and it's that little extra support there. But also don't worry, this chain isn't too heavy because it is hollow, and that they do that on purpose so that it doesn't add too much weight to the bag, but it doesn't sacrifice the quality of the materials they use. Throw that over your shoulder. You can wear this crossbody as well. $2,450. Beautiful chevron quilt, and look how it all lines up perfectly as well. And here on the back, so it has that back pocket. So that's great. The back pocket does fit an iPhone Max. We did test that. So this piece, and I do love when I see people wear these bags and the chain hangs down. I think that's one of the chicest ways you can wear it. $2,450. Now, just like I showed you with the Louis Vuitton bag, let's pull out a great little addition to this item. This cute pink, I love black and pink together. It's just, I don't know what it is, just so like cool, like punk almost. But very, and I feel like it's very like American style, like very Y2K, that pink and black. But gorgeous, gorgeous little charm you can easily add to your bag. Just like that. We love mixing the metals as well. Look how precious, this is a tweed and leather cube bag charm pouch. So you can put your AirPods in here or any cash or anything else that you may need. Only $475, $2,450 for this bag. I just love it together. It doesn't like add like little cute, just so cute and precious. Almost getting like very Gen Z-ish, very TikTok. I love that. As you can tell, I'm clearly a millennial because I just said very TikTok. <laughs> but don't worry, I do love a TikTok moment. Freaking love TikTok. By the way, we have some amazing news coming soon regarding TikTok, so can't wait to share that with you guys. But $2,450 for the bag, $475 for this beautiful Tweed Jamie Cube bag charm. All right. Make sure this sits upright. Now we had a request for a little bit Dior. Let's bring out some Dior next. Who should I bring out? Ooh. I have a good Dior piece to bring out. This is, wow. Just look at this. If this is not just giving the most amazing craftsmanship and design here, I mean, I don't really know, really know what else is. So, beautiful piece. Before we get into it, shout out to Tony. She started following us on Amazon along with Rainbow and Wendy. Thank you guys so much for the follow. If you want to shop these products and not miss out on any of our upcoming shows, head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around and be more than happy to hit that follow button so you don't miss any more of this or these beautiful bags as well. All right, this is the Christian Dior multicolor embellished leather Rosa Mutabilis Lily Dior bag in the size medium. 
Lady Dior bag. Isn't it gorgeous? Named after Princess Diana, of course, because she was Lady Diana Spencer before she married Prince Charles. So this is from the Fall 2020 collection. It was designed by Maria Grazia Chiari, who is the creative director of Dior currently. And it basically features a series of original just designs, embellishments, and looks throughout it, and inspired by Rosa Mutabilis, which is a precious species of roses found and originating in China. So really, really cool. And the colors actually basically of these roses change during its blooming in different stages. So that's why it's not just this gorgeous red, but you see the blues, you see the pinks, you see the yellow. It changes all throughout, which is so amazing. So I love the incorporate into here. And it's that spiral. So it's almost like spiral change, constantly changing. And I love that. It's like never ending. And I love this piece. And the reason I chose it for the Copenhagen style is because very much of Scandinavia is about the difference of like nature and all the gorgeous pieces you see within it, especially during midsummer. So this is very just a midsummer kind of style here. $9,985. It's no longer in production. And if you can see, it has beautiful, beautiful embroidery, but not fully. It's about part embroidered just to bring out those gorgeous details within this design. It's no longer in production, almost impossible to find. All leather within it, you beautiful suede interior here. Even comes with the shoulder strap, which I always love. And then the Dior dust bag, but it'll always come with a complimentary, what goes around comes around dust bag as well, so do not worry about that. Beautiful suede on the interior here, black suede. This piece has virtually no wear to it, just faint hairline scratches to the hardware. Beautiful, beautiful base as well. Put the dust bag back in here so I can show you guys how I would utilize the shoulder strap. Now on the Dior bags, the handles are more structured, so you want to use the shoulder strap in different ways. So it counterbalances it. So you don't want to put it both on the back or both on the front. One here on the front, just like this, and then one on the back, but on the side so the shoulder strap doesn't fall down. Just like that. It's a thicker strap as well and longer, which I love. Easily throw that on. Look at that, now the straps, the handle stay up rather than falling down. Just gives it a very simple, classic look. $9,985 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful item. I love the Dior charm here. That Dior charm actually was Christian Dior's personal lucky charm. It's what he always used. So Christian Dior now and all of the creative team there they add on that charm just to about a lot of their pieces, especially the Lady Dior, to signify that and pay homage to the original designer that we credit for so many of these gorgeous things we see. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, Yves Saint Laurent actually took over. He basically was like a discovered by Christian Dior at like 16, and when Christian Dior died, he passed the house off to Yves Saint Laurent when he was very young. I think he was like 20, 21, or even like 18 or 19. And then when Yves Saint Laurent got drafted to the war, Mark Bowen took over which we'll discuss him in a little bit when you bring out another gorgeous item of his. Let's put that one right there. Beautiful piece. Let me make sure you guys see her on display. All right. Next item that we have coming out and bring out a Chanel bag for you guys that you are not going to believe. This is the Chanel beautiful rainbow quilted caviar boy bag in the size medium absolutely stunning and it is just rainbowed out i mean absolutely incredible piece here i love this. this is from the chanel spring summer 2018 collection and basically during that show they had a real waterfall and then insane a real actual waterfall is the amazon rainforest collection tons of beautiful pvc pieces i mean the shoes they basically had high-waisted boot high-waisted knee-high, knee over-the-knee boots that were all in beautiful PVC that were see-through. It was so cool. Very Andy Warhol-inspired. He was the source of inspiration, what Carl Lagerfeld said. This piece is so rare to find. It's so hard to get your hands on, especially in this great of condition. Because once they released, people were obsessed with them and they wanted them right away. I know, I am Leah. This is amazing, right? Absolutely incredible piece. Gorgeous silver hardware on it. Impeccable, impeccable colors as you can see throughout. 
What I love is this enamel inlay in the green, that kind of mint green, pastel green. And the lock is in silver and silver. This is the boy lock, sometimes referred to as the Lego clutch. Oh my gosh. I mean, can we just take a look at that interior here? Wow. Absolutely stunning. This piece, $10,500. Like I said, it's almost impossible to find this condition. It's the size medium. Beautiful. Look at this, easily goes over your shoulder. You can wear it as a crossbody if you need to as well, but it has that adjustable chain shoulder strap. So you can wear it just on the crook of your arm. $10,500. Beautiful base on this piece, look at that. Stunning, there's nowhere to this item, just hairline, hairline scratches to the hardware. Other than that, this is in great condition. Oh, Jess Trawler, Jess, thank you so much for coming in. I know, so unique and gorgeous, right? Jess, I hope you're having a wonderful time at your meditation retreat this weekend. Jess wonderfully came and stopped by the store. She took us up on our offer to come in, have a glass of champagne or any other bubbles that you may like, Pellegrino, do a little shopping and just like hang out with us. We had a great time yesterday. Thank you so much again, Jess, for coming in. But if you guys wanna ever come see us, just let us know, send us a DM. You can DM me at Mason Henry Howell or at what goes around NYC on TikTok and Instagram. We'd be happy to connect you guys with one of our stylists or happy to welcome you in, show you around, and we can play. It's so much fun. It's literally like a big candy store here. You have the best time. $10,500 for this beautiful, beautiful piece right here. Absolutely stunning, right? It's such a great item. So beautiful. Stunning, stunning piece. Okay. Let's move on to our next item. Next, I have for you guys. Wait, what should I bring out? I think I'm gonna bring out another, okay, I'm bring out another Dior piece because I really love the Dior's. And I was just talking about Mark Bowen, so we have to bring it out. Bia Bartesi, I'm sending a client of mine from Brazil next week to buy some stuff. Oh my God, amazing. Well, Bia Bartasi, DM me at Mason Henry Howell or DM at what goes around NYC so we can set up an appointment for them and make sure they have the best experience ever. Cause that's what we're here to do. We're here to provide an amazing client experience. All right, here we have guys, this beautiful Christian Dior multicolor embroidered canvas book tote in the size mini. So the book tote, like I said, Christian Dior, he was the original founder of the house of Dior. And then when he passed away, he passed the house over to YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, when he was at a young age. And when Yves Saint Laurent got drafted into the war, Mark Bowen took over and basically was fashion director, creative, artistic director for the next 40, 50 years, basically. So the book tote was actually inspired by a drawing produced by Mark Bowen in 1967. And Mar Maria Grazia Chiari found it and was like, you know what? That's amazing. We need to bring it out. And now the book tote is one of the most popular bags out there. Sorry guys, I have a little itch on my nose. There we go. It's the makeup. It's the makeup, guys. I'm always like, what do I do? How do I itch it? And someone told me, you just don't. I'm like, oh my God, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> so anyways, the book tote was first introduced in spring, summer 2018. And here we have the mini version. The mini version came out a little bit later. $3,450. It's all embroidered. Isn't that insane? Look how tiny and cute it is. I love all the different colors, perfect for fall or Copenhagen winter, anything of the sorts. $3,450 is an amazing item. Bia Bertassi, you're very welcome. We look forward to having your client here and hopefully you can come up from Brazil soon and see us. We'd love to have you here. All right, once again, this piece is $3,450. Look at this, there's nowhere to this item whatsoever. There's also no hardware, which I love. So the bag's really lightweight but it's super durable, such great condition. $3,450 for this stunning, stunning item that we have right here. All right, let's bring out, what should we bring out next, guys? I think I should bring out this really cool Gucci collection that you guys are gonna die over. It's an Alessandro Michel era collection and you're just not gonna believe it, okay. All right, this is the Marmont bag. Who doesn't love the Marmont bag? Named after Chateau Marmont in Los Angeles, one of my favorite hotels in the world because Matthew McConaughey lived there for a little bit. 
Anyways, moving on to the next thing. This is the Gucci Pastel, uh, what am I trying to say? Vertical? No, horizontal? No, what's the other way? Diagonal. Oh my gosh. Diagonal quilted leather marmont shoulder bag in this size small. Beautiful, beautiful silver hardware on this piece. And what I love is that this piece is actually from the Pre-Fall 2020 collection, which is kind of like odd to do a pastel during the Pre-Fall collection, but I think it's also very Alessandro Michel and very Gucci. They would push the boundary like that. And they paired it with such gorgeous other items, like still with the Gigi canvas with more muted kind of brown tones, and it totally worked. So this piece, once again, Pre-Fall 2020, Alessandro Michel, he has been creative director of Gucci since 2016. He actually departed in 2000, this past November 2022. And there are rumors he could go to Moschino, Lanvin, restart Walter Albini, which was an Italian brand. You know, who knows? Some people even rumored that he may go to Chanel, but I don't think that's going to happen. But who knows? Where do you guys all think he's going? Tell me where you guys think he's going to go. I think he's going to start Walter Albini or start his own thing, like Phoebe Philo did. So. Oh my gosh, Antiono Grazza, 2007, give me one, you got it. All you have to do is head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around, click add to cart, check out, and you're all set. Or what goes around nyc.com. You'll see a flashing button in the corner. Click on that, I'll pop up, and the bag's hovering above, above me. Antonio Grazza, 2007, you need this for this outfit. What are you wearing today? Tell me what you're wearing. Because I think you need it absolutely. But also, Antonio and everyone else, we're not done because look at this that you need to add to your item. It is the Gucci Multicolor Leather GG Pastel Diagonal Quilt Coin Purse and Key Holder. I mean, is this not amazing? Look at this. Absolutely stunning. And you can easily, we're going to attach this right here to the bag. I love this here. I'm going to try to attach the interior because look. Antonio, you need both. This is so incredible right here. Here we go, I got this. I've got this, guys. I got it, I promise. <laughs> it's not always super fast and easy, like the movies. Live, right here, just for you guys. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom. Look at that. Isn't that so chic? Just like that. Look how amazing and fun that is. You need this. And only $450 for the pouch. $2,185 for the bag. The bag is no longer in production. The Marmont is, but this once again, it's a limited edition from spring, summer, 2000, and sorry, spring, pre-fall, 2020. Fun fact, by the way, do you know Alessandro Michel actually helped create the baguette bag? Who knew that? Along with Maria Grazia Curie, who has been designing all this gorgeous Dior we're seeing, under Karl Lagerfeld and the Fendi sisters. So, props to them. We now know everything that, what do you call it? Uh, everything that Karl Lagerfeld touched turned to gold. $2,350, $450 for this cutie. Okay, now let's bring out this one back right here. There we go. All right, now let's bring out a little bit of Fendi. Since we're talking about the Fendi sisters, here we go. This is one of the most iconic Fendi bags, in my opinion, for the 21st century. This is the Fendi Black Leather Runway Shopping Tote Shopper in the size large. This was first seen during the Spring Summer 2018 collection. I think this is a perfect bag. If you love the Dior Book Tote, if you're looking for something just slightly different, or if you're a big Fendi diehard, this is the way to go. Look at this smooth calf leather through here. It's almost like Hermes box calf leather. It's just so smooth and gorgeous and shiny. Look at that. And incredible gold hardware on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous acrylic handles, so it's still super lightweight. And then I love just perforated in there, but it's not the see-through perforated, along with perforated designs throughout the front. And very subtle, it has the FF logo 
FF logo was designed by Carl Lagerfeld, actually, and it stands for Fun Fur, but I like to call it Fun Fendi now. And it says Roma Fendi Amor on it, which I love, made in Italy. Perfect piece, but you're not, you're gonna die, we're not done. It comes with the original Fendi dust bag and a complimentary what goes around comes around dust bag because even if we have Oh, uh, original dust bag, we're gonna bring you the what goes around comes around dust bag too because it, come, it will come with every order. I am Leah, we don't have baguettes today either, but we'd be happy to add that to our upcoming list as well. Beautiful, beautiful items here. And look at that. You get that gorgeous, gorgeous brown interior. That camel brown, I love a brown and black moment. A la very East on the Raw. He makes navy and black, he makes pink and red that we get very Valentine's, very love. But I love that you have that brown interior because not only is it just a gorgeous, nice little contrast, great detail for the design, but allows you to see everything inside your bag easily. And then don't worry, the nice thing about the book tote that I know people love, you can put it over your shoulder. And I know these are just two handles, but the Fendi sisters thought of it. Sylvia, she thought of this. Sylvia Fendi Ventura, or Ventura Fendi put on, which is also contrasting on both sides, so you can wear it either way. Let's wear it with the brown side out. And that cheek, look at that. Easy throw over your shoulder, and now you're all set. Or you can turn it for the brown look. So many different ways. This piece is only $2,350, which is incredible for this item. For this all black, look how great this condition is too. Just some minor, minor marks, but other than that, this is an excellent condition. Look, there's no corner wear or anything. $2,350 for this impeccable piece. I mean, I absolutely love, love, love this item. And it also has a slip pocket that does snap on the inside. So if you're worried about it just being open, don't worry the way it sits too. You see how it was crafted? It was crafted so it brings in on itself. So that's great what I love about this piece. I mean, they really think of everything. They really know how to mold these leathers and into these beautiful shapes. I mean, these brands have been doing this for years, and here we have it. Well, $2,350 for this gorgeous item right here. Okay. Next, we have a bag that basically was inspired, not inspired, but was brought to us thanks to a very wonderful event. This is the Gucci Brown Gucci Asima Zuki, Zuki. Suki Zip Hobo in the size large. Beautiful, beautiful piece. The Suki bag actually was created in 2008. So an event was hosted by the director of Gucci, the creative director of the time, Frida Gianni in 2008. And it was an aid of UNICEF. And basically at this event in 2008, Frida Gianni put up, okay, whoever basically bids this amount, you know, they always have bids going on there. They do like a little, uh, charity bidding, you can have the opportunity to name a Gucci bag. So we don't know how much someone paid to name the Gucci bag, but we do know that event raised $2.7 million to aid in schools in Africa, which is amazing. So I wonder if this was just the only lot. Can you imagine $2.7 million to name a bag? Who would pay that much money? I totally, if I had those funds, I would pay any amount if I got a bag named after me at Chanel, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, I don't care be amazing. So the Suki was born because it was named 2008 at a charity event. So it makes that bag just this much more special and this much more iconic. This bag is $1,125. Look, a lot of the time the Gucci, the Suki bags, they don't get this Gigi logo right here. Most of the time this charm is taken off, sold separately, or you know, just fallen off or lost. But here, we're gonna bring you the best condition items out there. Look at this beautiful, almost rose gold bronze as well. It's like a brown rose gold bronze mixture beautiful it's like a matte metallic and that gucci asima that was also created by frida gianni if you guys don't know frida gianni one she is a stunner google her she's gorgeous and two she like her her creative direction time is so slept on i mean she was after tom ford there was like a two-year period where tom ford left 2004 she took over in 2006 and then when she left alessandra michelle took over so she basically had like an over 10 year career there or yeah, just right, right around 10 years. So amazing pieces, tons of great heels as well. But this, look at this, gorgeous zippers. And 
Of course, you know it comes with a shoulder strap as well. So you can easily wear this crossbody over the shoulder. But this is a classic Gucci bag that will never go out of style. They no longer produce these. Beautiful, $1,125. Guys, this is such a rarity and such a gorgeous item. And that condition, once again, I mean, most of the time, you would see these kind of wearing already, starting to peel, but nope, we here choose the best condition items out there and we want to ensure we care for them in the best condition. So everything's temperature controlled, climate controlled here, what goes around comes around. And you're probably like, Mason, how am I gonna care for it at home like that? Don't worry, you have a climate controlled system. Your closet, as long as your house is between 69 to 72 degrees, which I'm sure we all are. If it's colder, great. If it's hotter, you need some help. <laughs> but this is a great, great piece that could easily be added to your collection and stay in great condition. And all you have to do is just, you know, don't leave it in your car overnight on a hot summer day, anything of the sort. Just, you know, care for her as you would a very gentle, ti gentle, I say gentle tiger, like a gentle child. I don't know why a tiger came to my mind. I feel like Tiger King just like popped in my head. So who knows why? But $1,125 for this beautiful piece. All right, now if this isn't very Copenhagen style either, I don't know what is. This piece, they love little bags over there as well. And this is a great one because it is just kind of fun, whimsical. This is the Louis Vuitton Takashi Murakami Monogram Cerises Pochette Accessoire with beautiful gold hardware. I love the Pochette Accessoire. They've been around forever and they still are around, but guess what? This one is not. This one you can only get on the pre-love market. It's no longer in production. It's from 2005. It's the Cerises Collection that went down the Spring Summer 2005 runway show. It's Takashi Murakami, one of the top contemporary artists of our time. One of his statues back in June went for $1.7 million at a Sotheby's London auction. And what I love is that this went down the runway as well in so many different styles and forms, but the ad campaign actually starred Uma Thurman, which I thought was so cool from Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill, amazing actress. So this piece only can get it here or what goes around comes around and on the pre-love market in general, but where else are you gonna find this condition? Look at this, Vivian Vachetta trim. There's nowhere to it virtually, $1,695. Once again, I'm gonna say that $1,695. Isn't that incredible? That is really like 0.0001% of what you can get one of the pieces of artwork for. And this is a wearable artwork. You can wear this anytime. It even comes with the original Cerise's dust bag, the red cherry dust bag. And I love, look at all the different ways you can wear this too. Where does the pochette? I can't put it over my shoulder. My shoulder is too big for the pochette. I'm just too muscular. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you can easily take this part off, pop it right there, and look, easily wear it as a wristlet if you want. You then also can take this off fully and wear it as a clutch, or you can use this piece, pair it to the inside of your bag, stick it there, and you are good to go. And it basically becomes like a little pouch on the inside of your bag. You're never full of anything. Easily pull it in and out, or you can just use it when you're quickly running into a store and just grab it out of your bag, and you're good to go. $1,695 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. All right. Let's bring out our next item. Oh, and something I always tell everyone, and I didn't do it, make sure you keep all of your accessories with your bag. That includes your dust bag, your shoulder strap, or anything of the sorts. And I already broke that rule, so don't do what I say, don't do as I do. Right? That's the saying, right? <laughs> Mara, the concept store, how much is it? The Pochette Accessoire, the Takashi Murakami. This one is $1,695. Let's look at that condition again. Virtually nowhere to that condition. There's no moderate marks to the Vachetta trim. It's slightly darkened, but not by wear, just by age. From 2005, spring, summer 2005, Uma Thurman was the ad campaign, Takashi Murakami. Beautiful piece, $1,695. I know. Miss Carol Letterman, such a classic, forever LV pieces. We're there for it. Absolutely there for it. All right. Let's move on to our next item. 
Next, we have a good old classic. And the Danes, the Scandinavians, they love a classic. They love a functional item. This is the Chanel Quilted Caviar Wallet on Chain. The walk, as many in the handbag collecting community call it. But this just isn't any walk. I mean, this is like, look at this. Look how she spins around. Look at all of that different quilting. It's zigzag, it's diagonal. It's so, so cool. It's just something different. You also have the different style here in the Chanel class. Beautiful interior. So classic wallet on chain. You have the slip pocket here in the front. Minor press mark here from the zipper. That does happen with these items. Sometimes you can see it in retail. The slip pocket, the zip pocket here, that is where Coco Chanel kept her love letters from Boy Capel. Easily throw something down in there. I always kept the love letters when I had my Chanel flat bags from my husband and I put them in there. You then of course have the shoulder strap, woven chain shoulder strap, zipper, slip pocket, along with six credit card slots, magnetic closure. And by the way, the wallet on chain, I refer to it as the bag that fits everyone perfectly. The sisterhood of the traveling bag, but the fact that you can actually clean it and you're not sharing it with a bunch of other people. So $3,500, look how it hits me perfectly. Everyone needs wallet on chain, no matter the size. I had one colleague who was like 5'1", she put on wallet on chain, hit her perfectly. It fits everyone. I don't know how Carl Lagerfeld did it, but he did it. $3,500, this is a limited edition piece, so it's no longer in production. Beautiful piece, 2018. Wow, I wanna keep this on now. $3,500 for this beautiful, beautiful item. Let's look at the back of it real quick. Stunning piece. Beautiful, look at that. Look at all that design too. No matter what way you put it, it's like, it's always going the same direction somehow. I don't know how to describe that, it's so cool. $3,500 for this cutie. All right, next we have, oh, I love this one. This is another, another famous Louis Vuitton. I actually have it backwards here. If it's upside down, that basically means the back of it. Now we go, all right, let's start from the beginning. Oh, this is a Louis Vuitton, Richard Prince, monogram watercolor Papillon 30. The Pathlon bag is actually a 1960s design from 1966, and very much that mod kind of style, that tubular style. So, and then it was discontinued around 2010, 2011. So, had a good run in it, <laughs> or it was like a little sooner, but mid 2000s to late 2010s, or early 2010s. Anyways, gorgeous gold hardware on it. This is from the Spring Summer 2008 collection. There was a similar style to list, look number 41 on the runway. It was a little different that they made it. I am Iliam. I know, obsessed, right? Absolutely obsessed with this. So Richard Prince, he's an American artist and painter, and he is mind-blowing out of this world. One of his pieces recently went to Hong Kong for $12 million. $12 million. Isn't that crazy? For Richard Prince. So actually, Richard Prince, what he's known for is what they're called the crazy nurses or um, paintings which basically all these nurses who it's very like dark gothic kind of style, very, you know, gorgeous like this, little watercolor mixed together. But the Louis Vuitton show sent down the runway, basically nurses that have a, basically like little hat nurse hats that all spelled out Louis Vuitton, like L-O-U-I, but in nurses outfits, so I love it. This is one of the watercolor pieces here absolutely beautiful two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars for this gorgeous gorgeous item that we have right here gorgeous pochetta trim as well virtually nowhere to it like i said from 2008 look at this amazing right richard san diego i'm waiting for you to have an hermes i actually don't have any hermes today but don't worry stay tuned for tomorrow's show tomorrow evening at 9 p.m eastern standard time I will definitely have some Hermes there for you, along with the next upcoming shows on Tuesday and Wednesday as well, Richard. All right, this piece, $2,950. It's almost impossible to find these now. And this is called the Aquarelle, the watercolor collection. Beautiful piece. Look at that interior. The interior's lined in taiga leather. 
So Taiga leather is similar to Prada Soffiano or basically like Epsom leather from Hermes, which is more scratch resistant, water resistant, and stain resistant. This coated canvas as well is just an incredible, incredible condition. Beautiful. $2,950 for this gorgeous item. And listen to that. Such great construction on this bag. Absolutely stunning. $2,950 for this beautiful, beautiful item. All right. Oh, because she was here on the table with me, wasn't she? Let's make sure we're putting her the right way as well. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let's move on to our next item. Next, I have something that's very, you know, Denmark, Copenhagen style, because it's another beautiful fur bag, but this is shearling actually, not fur. Shearling. This is the Chanel Bay Shearling and Faux Pearl flat bag in the size medium. I love it. When they did shearling like years ago, I love that they brought it back. This is a fall winter 2014 collection, which they called the Chanel Shopping Center. It was basically Karl Lagerfeld put a shopping center in the Grand Palais, I believe, where it was hosted. And there was like literally like Chanel fruit, Chanel everything, like everything was branded Chanel. And he literally said, I think a little humor is needed. And he is so right. And that's what I love about Karl Lagerfeld is that he never took fashion seriously. He always saw it as fun. He saw it as a fantasy, but also it's something to have, you know, a laugh at every now and then and a play on words. He loved that humor, very German humor. So that's what he did with this. And one of the things he also did was at the end of the show, this is in his biography, he told everyone, take whatever you want from the shopping center. So basically people were running for the rugs, the mats, the, you know, basically everything that was branded Chanel, people were grabbing it all, knowing, and he knew this, that on the way out, they were gonna be stopped by security and take everything back. He just thought it was funny to do that. So what a, what a like just a bad man. <laughs> bad boy is what he was. $7,150 for this gorgeous piece. This does have the adjustable chain strap along with the turn lock. I love all these faux pearls just put right into it. Comes with the Chanel dust bag. Beautiful suede lining as well. Beautiful shearling on the side and a little bit of lambskin. I love that this is a little bit unstructured. Easily just pull this through and look, a suede back pocket with a shearling trim. So fun, that classic Chanel pocket. Easily goes over your shoulder. $7,150 for this piece. I love it. This fun, fun matte gold hardware. Beautiful. And I just love that it's like softly structured. It just feels like a little pillow. I just want to sleep on it. You even get a little zip pocket on the interior here as well. To put your stuff so it's not just one big giant hole on the inside basically. <laughs> one big compartment. You do have a place to put items and separate a little bit if you need to. This is a great piece for fall, for winter. Especially for like Aspen or if you're in Copenhagen going to Gestalt to go skiing or to the French Alps or something. $7,150 from one of the most iconic collections. And I think I've said this, not only is shearling so hard to find because shearling is normally in beige and white, but suede on the pre-love market in this condition, forget about it. Like honestly, forget about it. Richard San Diego, do not show that to my wife. Well, Richard. Be careful, if we know who she is, we might send her the link. <laughs> you need to show it to her, Richard. It's so cool, so precious. And since you guys are in San Diego, it looks like, I'm sure it's such a hop and a skip to head over to Aspen, have a little fun there. This is the perfect brag to bring with you. Your wife needs this for a little Aspen trip, Richard. $7,150 for this beautiful, beautiful item. All right. Let's move on to another piece that is just like great because we know it's starting to get cold and I'm sure Copenhagen's always cold even during the summer. It's a little chilly there, I'm still sure. So another great item. I don't know why I'm trying to take the pieces away from the table. <laughs> you belong on the table, there we go. So if you're, you know, going about or anything at all. Oh, you guys are going to Iceland? <gasps> Richard, she needs this back, she needs this back. Hold on, okay, Richard, she needs this back for Iceland. Are you guys going to Reykjavik? Because you need it. She, this would be so chic, Richard. A little photo op in the lagoon. The Blue Lagoon, I think is what it's called, with this bag. Chic, so chic. 
If $7,150 isn't worth the Instagram photo, I don't know what is. This is the perfect Iceland bag, Richard, for your wife. $7,150, Richard. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> All right, we'll move on to the next piece, Richard, so we won't, we won't tempt your wife anymore for it. Oh, why am I putting it away? <laughs> All right, here we have another piece. Actually, Richard, this is really good. It's that Blue Lagoon kind of look. This is the Chanel Blue Ombre Quilted Lambskin Classic Double Flat Bag in the size medium. Beautiful piece. Jer.2322, man stuff, question mark. <laughs> also love that, man stuff. So all these items here are all basically unisex. Anyone can wear it. But if you're looking for men-driven designs, we did have the Gucci Techno backpack, which I can bring back out for you. But I do have a few other items that would fit more of the man's style, especially if you're taller like me and it looks more proportionate. So I'll bring out some, another item after this for you, okay? All right, this is the Chanel Blue Ombre Quilted Lambskin front, medium double flat bag, 2009, 2010. I absolutely love this piece because look, it's a gorgeous ombre of the blue to the white. $7,150, which is insane for a classic double flat bag. Right now, these are going for close to $10,000 plus. Faint creasing to the interior, which happens with flat bags and some minor press marks from that zipper. Beautiful piece, look at this. Gorgeous light blue, that glacier blue, such a great color for fall. It's one of the colors that the trend forecasting, WGSN, all that, have marked as one of our colors coming up. We've seen it on the runways as well. Beautiful piece. I love that they added the gold hardware. Really warms up the bag. Makes you to wear it anytime year round. I love the beige sides as well with a little bit of the base. Half beige, half blue. See a lot of that ombre effect down there. And then of course that classic back pocket that Chanel is known for. This piece, $7,150. If you're below around 5'8", 5 5'7", 5 you can wear this crossbody actually. I can wear it too, but it like literally hits my chest. <laughs> $7,150. If you want a classic Chanel flat bag, but you want something just a little bit different, this is the perfect way to go. $7,150 for this beauty. All right. Let's bring out our next item. Jair, Jair, Jair. 2232, two, two, I believe, was your Instagram name. This is a great bag for men, for women, for anyone who is of a larger size or loves a larger bag. This is such a cool option. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM. This is a canvas e cat flower GM size. So the GM actually is rumored to hold up to 200 pounds. I would like to say we've never tested it, but at the same time, I know so many people who have this bag and fill it to the brink. That is almost 200 pounds, basically. So it's from the Spring Summer 2013 collection. No longer in production. What I love is that you have that blue leather trim. Isn't that beautiful? And on the outside, it says Articles de Voyage, Paris, Louis Vuitton, Champs-Élysées. Beautiful, beautiful, 101 Champs-Élysées. They have the new store opening, 103 Champs-Élysées. I'm excited to see it. Right now, the exterior is basically like a trunk. So cool. But now the interior of this bag comes with the Louis Vuitton dust bag, by the way. Look at this, beautiful ECAT flower. ECAT is a process of dyeing. It's resistant dyeing, so it makes the items look brighter and a little bit more like, you know, as you would say, a little bit like uplifted, a little bit more quiet, subtle, but then they layer it and it makes this beautiful design. Now, what I don't think a lot of you guys know is the Neverfull is reversible. So this does not harm the bag. It's made to do this. You guys aren't gonna believe what I'm about to show you. So insane here. Now, it's not always pretty, but it's about to be gorgeous. Here we go, here we go, it's happening, guys. We're making it happen. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Amazing, incredible. I'm just gonna keep saying them beautiful words till it happens. <laughs> well, again, this does not harm the bag. It's part of the whole design. And that's what I love about it. Make sure I get all those corners out. There we go. Beautiful, but look, it is supposed to be reversible. 
And as you can see here, we have made that happen. And now if you want to show this floral design, the e-catch design on the opposite side, you just do it like this. $2,750, so you basically get two bags and one. The pocket is now on the outside, which is kind of great. You have an exterior back pocket. Easily, look at this, and it easily fits over my shoulder. So it easily can fit over anyone's shoulder, and it's comfortable too. And now the handles, they may look thin, but they're triple reinforced, and they're at a diagonal there. They're put on a diagonal, like a, basically an angle. An angle, that's what I'm looking for. Y'all, I can't speak today. They're put on an angle, which is so great because that allows for the tension within the bag to be dispersed throughout the entire piece and not just held in one area. So, $2,750, no longer in production and reversible. And now a great piece to add with it, because we're all about mixing brands here, by the way. This item. Look at this beautiful dark blue, which it ties in some of this ECAT colors here from Chanel. Amazing. Oh, Shelly C, thank you so much for the follow on Amazon. By the way, if you guys wanna be like Shelly and not miss any of me or any of these gorgeous bags, head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around. Click the follow button. You won't miss any of me or these bags. But this is the Chanel Navy Quilted Caviar Long Yin Flap Wallet. I love it. The Yin Wallet is such a great item. So great. It matches perfectly with my bag here, doesn't it? Soon to be one of your guys' bags but I love this about it. $1,150 from 2018, 2019. This isn't even just navy, it's like a cobalt almost, like a cobalt navy. But Coco Chanel, her four favorite colors, red, basically like a cherry red, black, beige, and navy. So here you have it, gorgeous gold hardware. Yen wallet here on the inside. You have eight credit card slots, two slip pockets, along with a zip pocket and a slip pocket over here, another slip pocket, one more slip pocket, and then a billfold pocket as well. So, so many pockets, you will never run out. You even get this pocket back here, the Chanel classic pocket, which you easily put your card or anything like that, like your credit card, your ID, your metric card, anything you use the most. Beautiful piece, $1,150. I love the Yen wallet. If you're worried about just being open and flapping, don't worry. It literally is designed so it like comes in and stays closed. I've had these wallets before. Honestly, I love them so much more than the zip because most of the time I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So I easily just like can open it like that. Nothing has ever fallen out. So simple. That's why I love the zip pocket here. So if I want to put anything in there, you're good to go. And these pockets are tight too. So they're not gonna make anything just fall right out. If it does, it just falls out in your bag. So you're all set. But look at this, easily goes in. Look how beautiful these look together. And like, I can't get over. I wish, I hope it's picking up. I think, it, yes, the camera's picking up that gorgeous deep blue. It's almost like an ocean blue, rather than like a navy. $1,150 for this beautiful, beautiful wallet. Wow, I love this. Now I kind of want this Yen wallet. I love the Chanel wallets, guys. They are honestly impeccable. I'm gonna leave this never full, turn the other, this way. So I think it looks so chic. Oh. Guys, how am I doing this today? Never ever leave your accessories outside your bag unless you're using it. And I always put it back in the same spot where my bag is being stored in my home, on my shelf. There we go, okay. There we go, we are all set, guys. <laughs> Not my day today, is it? But it's your guys' because you're gonna get some amazing pieces, amazing items, am I right? Okay, next piece I have is a really, really cool Chanel bag. And if you are in Los Angeles, let me know where my Los Angeles people today, my beautiful audience members. This is the Chanel Pink Caskin LAX shoulder bag. I love this bag with silver hardware. If, I mean, Y2K style is a thing right now, so if you love that Y2K kind of look, the little baguette look, but you want like a Chanel bag, this is a great way. And something that's not too flashy. Once again, it's an if you know, you know. Embossed Chanel here in the front. The way we can tell it's LAX is that square tassel right here with the CC logo. Zip pocket up front. Beautiful. And look at that gorgeous. This is like mauve color basically. Call it pink, but it's like a mauve. And I can't wait to show you the, enti the interior. The interior is a beautiful, beautiful purple Chanel lined with the Chanel logos. One of my other favorite Chanel linings is look here. 
as Chanel spell in so many different sizes of one font. Beautiful piece, look at that. Virtually nowhere to that satin lining. I just love this. Easily fits over the shoulder. Silver hardware too, which is so like normally not the Chanel. Jack Tack 1986, I missed the red Chanel. Red Chanel, red Chanel. Oh, the red Chanel uh, crossbody? I can bring it back out for you. Don't you worry, Jack. Jacka Tack, Jacat Tack, 1986. I'll bring out the red Chanel for you, okay? Don't you worry, we'll bring it out right after this. But this is the Chanel pink, almost a mauve color, shoulder bag, beautiful pebble leather. No corner wear, some amazing, actually kind of dark purple contrast stitching, but it kind of blends in, which I love. You can actually see it right here at the bottom there. There you go. Beautiful piece, only $2,065 from the 2003-2004 era. Absolutely beautiful. $2,065 for this gorgeous, gorgeous item. And once again, some of these bags have a smaller opening, so you're not hurting it when you're stuffing it. It may look like it's getting a little bigger, but then you just go like this. Just move it around inside a little bit. There we go. And look, now it's all settled and perfectly stuffed. And it starts with that pebble leather, because the pebble leather with gravity, sorry, Isaac Newton, <laughs> The pebble leather, the point of it is it wants to come down to the ground because it's supposed to relax over time. So just keep it into a little bit of a, you know, an okay shape before it happens. You don't want it to happen too quickly. You don't want to flatten your bag. Just put the stuffing in there and it'll keep it nice in the shape up as well. All right, Jack Attack 1986. Let me bring out the red crossbody Chanel for you again. This one is the gorgeous Chanel vertical and zig, di, sorry, diagonal and zigzag quilts. I always want to say diamond for some reason, or vertical. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Diagonal and zigzag quilted caviar wallet on chain with beautiful gold hardware. As the handbag collecting community calls it, which I'm sure Jack Tack, you are a part of, the walk, the wallet on chain, so we love to refer to it as. This is from 2018, $3,500, beautiful caviar leather. And look, every time I move it, it's like it's like it doesn't change. It's like it all just stays in one place, which is insane. Beautiful Chanel CC logo, it's slightly different than what we see. It's raised a little bit, as you see here on the side. But then the wall all chain, all the other features are there as classic from the interior. You have that zip compartment up top. You then, of course, have a slip pocket here. The zip compartment, that was where Coco Chanel kept her love letter from Boy Capel. Zip here as well, along with another slip pocket, and then six credit card slots. Actually, this one is, this has six. I always think there's eight, but my eyes play a trick on me. Six credit card slots and a magnetic closure. And then don't forget, we have that leather woven chain strap. Easily, and I say this all the time, if you guys are already here, you're gonna hear me again. This piece, this is the bag that fits everyone. I am six foot five, it hits me perfectly. I had a colleague who was like 5'1", hits her perfectly. It hits everyone. It is the bag that's perfect for everyone. It's like the sisterhood of the traveling pants. But once again, you don't have, you get to wash the bag if you want to and not share it with a bunch of people. Honestly, the book was good. The movie was really cute. I really liked the movie. But, disgusting. <laughs> to share a pair of jeans all summer and not wash them. I get you like wash the magic out of it, but yeah, ugh. Anyways, <laughs> Sam Kohler, thank you so much for the faller. Faller, fall. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Sam Kohler for the faller. <laughs> thank you so much, Sam Kohler, I really appreciate it. If you wanna be like Sam and not miss a moment of us here on Amazon, head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around. Hit that follow button so you don't miss any of these gorgeous bags or any more of my mess ups and my word vomit here. <laughs> 3,500 for this beautiful piece. The wall on chains now, I believe they're retailing around, I know I have to double check actually. I think last I looked, they were still around 3,200. Chanel's constantly increasing the prices, so they could have gone closer to four now, but $3,500 is a limited edition piece, no longer in production. So if you want it and basically almost store fresh, what goes around comes around. There's virtually no wear to it, except for there is a little press mark here and a little bit here as well. And that's just from the zipper which is inevitable on these pieces, especially that delicate lambskin, but it has a little character to it. So $3,500 for this gorgeous, gorgeous piece.
All right. Let's bring out another item. Jack Tack, let me know if you want to see any other items that you feel missed or anything of the sorts. And everyone else as well, if you have any questions, you want to see any items, just let me know and I'm happy to bring them out. You know, if we've already showed them, I'm happy to bring it back out for you. Anything your guys' hearts desire, your wish is my command. What, what movie was that? Princess Bride. As you wish. As you wish. Princess Bride, such a good movie. Who else has seen that? Childhood Unlocked Princess Bride. So good. But wait, do you know it's a real book? <laughs> no idea. Andre the Giant was in it. So many like amazing people were in it. Okay, anyways. This is the Chanel Black Lambskin Chocolate Bar East West Medium Single Flat Bag and Clutch. I love this. Wait till I show you guys. And also, Carl Lagerfeld, once again, people were like, why is it called the chocolate bar? Well, one, Carl Lagerfeld loved jokes. He said, oh, looks like a chocolate bar now. But also, it's so just genius. He took the diamond quilting, shifted it 45 degrees, and we get the square quilting here, the chocolate bar quilt. This is a 2003-2004 piece in the East-West style. The East-West style is no longer in production. It was presumably uh, discontinued around 2011. Actually, I know we're just talking about the Fall Winter 2014 collection, the grocery store collection. This would have been the perfect bag to bring back, just even for that collection. So amazing, and these are so rare and hard to find now. They are starting to become really popular, so this is the time to get it before the prices shoot up anymore. Look at that interior, virtually no wear to it. It comes with the original Chanel dust bag and the vintage dust bag, two dust bags, care card, and of course the authenticity card. Along with, look at this, you have the three, the three different slots on the interior here. And then this cute chain strap, look at this. So precious, easily goes over the shoulder. So simple, you can wear it as a clutch, many ways, and then also, what I love is, you can also wear it as a wristlet. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of the wristlets, but on the Louis Vuitton pochette it says soir, and then the chocolate bag. Look at this, and look at this. You can even, I saw someone do this the other day, throw it over your shoulder so it becomes like a vertical bag. So cool, right? Style things like, ooh, hey. Oh, hey, girl. Welcome, style things like. Love it. But look at this. Isn't that so cool? In this piece, $5,250. Another thing that I was just thinking of the other day, that you can do it. By the way, guys, do you notice I'm wearing Levi's today? By the way, we sell vintage Levi's here. It's amazing, absolutely incredible. Oh, sorry, my wires are on that side. Oh, my wires are on this side too. So many wires, guys. Do you know how much it takes to produce all this? It's because I love you guys so much. But look, I've seen so many people do this. Amazing. Look at this. And then they actually, I mean, they do it like more, but for the sake of time and the sake of just showing you guys what I'm trying to do. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting there. <sighs> My giant hands. And I had to go into handbags, right guys? <laughs> oh, I love the bags. Love them so much. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. We're almost there. Wow. Wow. All right, there we go. Okay. No, <laughs> okay, this isn't as chic as I was trying to make it look. But if you do it, it becomes like a sheet belt bag. Wow, I did all of that for me just to make, you guys, make it look like, wow. Nar, nar. <laughs> Remy, thank you so much. Remy, you can do this, Mason. I really appreciate it, Remy, over on Amazon. You're the best. Remy, by the way, guys, is a very skilled cellist. Amazing. So Remy, I still can't wait to hear you play soon. So excited. Okay, there we go. All right, now I got it back. <laughs> Lord help me. All right, $5,250 for this incredible, incredible piece. Beautiful, beautiful item. I love it. And where else are you gonna find something that comes with all the accoutrements as well? Hear what goes around comes around, that's where. Remy, thank you again for that encouragement. Thank you guys all so much for hanging there with me. <laughs> well, I got that. All right guys, I have to move these a little to the side because I'm about to pull out an item that is so cool, it's gonna blow your socks off. What a lame phrase, but I used it. Da, 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 da. Oh my bleep God. 
This is the Louis Vuitton Yoyo -Yo Kusama. It's like, I was going to say Yoyo -Yo Kusama red monogram Terillion Dots Infinity Keep All 50 with black hardware. It's all matte leather as well. Oh my gosh, guys. This is the newest collection that released in January of 2023. Yes, we have it here. What goes around comes around. Styling like rare bag. I know that chocolate bar was, wasn't it? This one too. They both are. This is incredible, right? Size 50 centimeters, bandoulier. So it has the shoulder strap as well, which I'll show you guys. Also comes with the handle connector and the luggage tag. There's no wear this piece, brand new. Comes with the full set, box and everything. Brought back for 2023, we did, although we knew in 2022. But it was just brought back. The Yoyo Kusama collection was originally released in 2012. And I'll show you, which is really cool. The newer collection looks almost like hand done. The dots are a little bit different, which is so amazing. And I love the handle connector. By the way, if you guys don't have a key ball, the key ball, I have had seven key balls in my life and I sell them every time because I'm like, oh, maybe I'm not traveling that much, so I don't need it. Or, you know, you know, when you're younger, you make wrong decisions. So you're like, oh my God, maybe I need to sell this so that I can, you know, pay rent this month. So I sell, but I always regret it because the key balls, I regret it still. I'm going to get a key ball again and I'm not going to sell it. So key balls are the perfect travel bag. They hold everything so great. Yes, style things like it's such a great carry-on bag. And yes, another rare piece, 100%. These are such a great carry-on item. They fit in the overhead compartment. And they're meant to travel with, guys. So don't worry about it being squished. Louis Vuitton prepared for that. They're prepared to last forever. Love the luggage connector, because look, we all know how hard it is to grab our hands if the handles fall to the other side. You're like, oh no, oh no. Always trying to travel. So this, it falls to one side. Just grab it, you're good to go. Luggage tag, because Louis Vuitton, we love a luggage tag moment. Beautiful, all right, let's do this. Let's show the interior. Gorgeous black hardware. If you know me, I love black on black moment. Now look, here we have da, 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 the shoulder strap, also in all matte black. Absolutely stunning. And something else that I'm gonna show you guys, the inside of this is black canvas lined. There's a zip pocket, but also look at this. It's gonna be hard to see, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. You can see that, there we go. Don't worry, it's not harming the bag. Here we go. There's the pumpkin, the Yoyo Kusama pumpkin. It is so cool. That pumpkin, Yoyo Kusama has designed it around the globe, has done it for Louis Vuitton a little bit too. There's actually one here in New York City. City, sitting. There's a building we looked at in Hell's Kitchen, me and my husband, and we went and saw it and it had the pumpkin in the front. The building was great. Wasn't the one we wanted. I wish it did because to walk home to a Yoyo Kusama in our front yard. I mean, I know it's a shared front yard, shared with like a thousand people, but <laughs> we love it. No joke, this building was huge. Had to house at least, there had to be at least like eight, 500 units in it. Plus, had to be. But $7,500 for this beauty, so hard to get. Instead of waiting on the wait list, you can easily just get it here. Beautiful leather handles as well. Look at this base. Beautiful. Oh my God. And there's no wear to it. Nothing. 7,500. Oh my God. Look at this on me. Okay, guys, do I need this? Do I need this? Who needs this? We all need one of these. Should we? Oh my God. Live shopping, audience team, and team members, we all need matching Louis Vuitton key balls. We'll put like live shopping next to the LV. Oh, let's do it. 7,000. $500 for this beauty. Absolutely insane. I can't, I can't, I love Kusama. The OG Kusama too. Yeah, we have that too. Don't worry, I actually have a couple pieces coming for you guys. Oh, I know, so exciting. So, so exciting. All right, next piece. Da, 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 da. This is the Chanel Paris, New York, embossed graffiti boy bag to size small. Yes, it's embossed alligator slash crocodile. Actually, really big. These are big plates, uh, big basically scales, but they call it plates because scales are for reptiles, plates are for alligators and crocodiles. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> basically, this is embossed. Paris, Paris, Chanel has decided to stop doing 
exotic skins. So we do have exotic bags here, Chanel Exotics. So the only place you can get them is on the pre-love market. But now they have favored for Embalse, and this was the first iteration of Embalsing. They started in 2018. So this is from the Chanel Trufal Metier d'Art Paris, New York collection from 2018. It was shown in the Met, and it was very Egyptian inspired. But also, I love this graffiti. It's like if Egypt and Berlin mixed, had a baby, this is it. Beautiful piece, all gold. That's not Egyptian in it. That graffiti, that's a little of, you know, a little bit of Berlin in it. And then the crocodile emboss, I guess also that's also Egypt because the Nile River. And then that like antique, almost aged hardware, that's Berlin again. Beautiful piece. You wear this, you're gonna get into Bergen. Like easily, if you're from Copenhagen, and you want to get into Bergain, wear a leather outfit in this piece, we'll let you in. $8,050 for this beautiful piece. And look, you even have the little Egyptian sphinx here. Beautiful. But it also CC logo. You get the symbol, I believe that bird symbol is the symbol of Ra. And then of course CC logo, the Chanel, you even have the Camilla flower. This is so cool. $8,050. This is no longer in production. This is a Karl Lagerfeld era piece. It was his last collection he showed in New York before he passed away. So, you know, this is truly a piece to add to your collection if you are a Chanel enthusiast. And if you're looking for that like fun boy bag, this is the one. I know, Southings like, love the gold, metals are timeless, a thousand percent. Look at this interior. You know what this interior reminds me of? This like matte metallic gold. It reminds me of like, if you ever watch those movies, <gasps> it reminds me of the iconic masterpiece with Brendan Fraser in it. No, I'm not talking about Whale. I'm talking about The Mummy. Remember when um, the princess in the, whatever the Mummy movie is, they're going past, she has that like gold paint on her. That's what the interior reminds me of. That gold paint. It's giving Brendan Fraser's The Mummy movie. Such a good movie. Maybe I'm gonna watch that tonight. Oh my God. We should do a live shopping like watching a movie together. And we'll do fashion movie and then we'll do like The Mummy. For this, basically what I was doing last night, by the way, also was I was putting together spooky movies. By the way, we're gonna do a couple Halloween shows. I love Halloween, love spooky era, spooky October, spooky season. We're gonna do some, I really wanna do a show of like pairing like basically the, uh, horror movie stars with a bag. Like what would Freddy Krueger wear if he was walking New York Fashion Week, right? It's giving Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, it's giving it all. So we're gonna do that. But I was putting together a list of each evening, except for the evenings I'm with you guys, what spooky movie are we gonna watch for October? So excited, it's like spooky countdown. All right, $8,050 for this beautiful piece. Style things like you're in, you're gonna bring the popcorn, perfect. What kind of popcorn, butter or kettle? I like to mix the two, butter and kettle together. Mmm, delicious. I made Jiffy Pop last night. Every time I make Jiffy Pop, I just wanna watch that movie Scream when uh, Drew Barrymore gets murdered in the beginning and the Jiffy Pop's like on fire. Yeah, that's what I always think of. I think I'm like, I'm about to come next and I'm gonna have to like answer questions so my boyfriend doesn't die on our patio, but. I live in a high rise, so <laughs> it won't happen to me. Oh well, oh well, movie fantasies died. Okay, on to the next piece. This is the Gucci Black Satin and Crystal Sylvie Handbag in a size mini. Beautiful gold hardware, satin all the way around, crystal embellished, no crystals missing whatsoever. Basically the Sylvie bag, Alessandro Michel brought it back. The original design, actually on the same day, this date, 21 July 1969, the day Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, the Sylvie bag made its debut on a runway in Italy. So, it's only necessary to bring it back. This is an American treasure. Just like Neil Armstrong was, this is American treasure. $2,475. Look at when it turns, look at her. Ready, ready? Boom, look at those crystals. Look at them, they are glistening. They are gorgeous, they are blinding. Beautiful piece. This is the mini version, I love that clasp. Look at that, just slides right open. It's a buckle, the chain does move, but don't worry, not too much. And then you also have 
this beautiful pink Alcantara lining, Gucci tag still with it, and Gucci care booklet. There's a slip pocket as well. What I love is, one, there's plastic on this shoulder strap hardware here, and that's vintage hardware. Not only did Gucci use this, Hermes used it, so it's very similar hardware to that. And then we have the leather shoulder strap, which this part's so cool because unlike where you would just snap it on normally, which you will do with that piece, but this item, it goes through, it threads through the interior here. So it doesn't distract from the gorgeousness that is. I did this backwards, but it's okay, guys. So I'm gonna show you. And it's adjustable, so you can put it on any level you want. Let's put it on the first level. There we go. So it's adjustable, so it doesn't distract from the beautiful crystal design on the front or any of the other beautiful Sylvia aesthetics, like the buckle with the chain or this beautiful clasp. There's faint hairline scratches, virtually none, and now some of my fingerprints. <laughs> but look at that, isn't that so chic? It's almost like it's just in suspended, like it's levitating. I'm mean, gonna style things like diamonds all the way. Miss Carol Letterman, can you wear it as a belt bag? Oh my God. Miss Carol Letterman, great, great idea. You certainly could wear this as a belt bag. I am going to, <laughs> I'm not gonna shimmy this down, but yes. You certainly could. It is adjustable enough. If you string it through, as I was showing you earlier with that Chanel bag, you could easily be worn as a belt bag. That is such a great idea. Ms. Kara Letterman, everyone, for the styling tip win. Thank you so much, Kara. That is such a great idea for this. $2,475. Beautiful piece. Absolutely stunning. Everyone, give Ms. Kara Letterman a follow. She is one of our wonderful moderators here at What Goes Around Comes Around. She is fantastic, one of the great styling tricks and tips that she gives all of us. Love having you, Kara. Five dollars for this beautiful piece. Stunning. And get ready, guys. We are about to launch our Instagram just for live shopping. That's right, and Miss Kara is gonna be running it. She's gonna be about to put out some of those amazing things. You'll see more of me and more of these gorgeous items. I'm so excited you guys to see it. Miss Kara, I know, so chic with all black. Love, we love it. With an all black look and just little sparkles, so great. Style things like, right? Let me know, you, you agree with that? All black, so you just see the sparkles, the diamond emojis, we're all for it. Let me know what else you guys think. What else would you guys wear this with? Tell me what you guys would wear this with. I would love to hear from you guys. Okay. We have a few bags left. I don't want to run out of time. So let's bring out, I have three more pieces I want to show you guys. So we'll move slightly quickly, just so we don't miss out. So I don't want you guys to miss out on some of these incredible pieces we just got in. So the first one is this gorgeous, the first of many, the first of many last. <laughs> Gucci Red Original GG Supreme Canvas Apple GG logo, padlock shorter bag with beautiful gold hardware. As you can see, it's an apple, then it has the GG logo in it. Isn't that just so cute and fun? Very Scandinavian Copenhagen. Beautiful piece. Originally released during the spring summer 2016 collection, the padlock bag. This is an Alessandro Michel design and an Alessandro Michel piece that we have right here. It does lock. Look at this oversized clochette. I love an oversized clochette. So good. If anyone's an Hermes lover, Margiela, Margiela era Hermes, incredible one but his radar wear was fantastic, but he made these giant oversized clochettes as necklaces, so cool. So rare and hard to find. There was one person who, I have to find out who the designer was, he has a giant travel Birkin, and he has a bunch of clochettes with Margiela Arrow on it. Like literally, I literally dreamt of that, and I feel like I incepted it in his brain, and then he was able to be on the magazine cover. Now I'm sure he thought of it before me, but anyways. <laughs> $1,850, look at this piece. Even I love it kind of just like open, just so casual and chic, just hanging open like that. Easily snaps in, oh, let's hear that. Ready? Shh, no one, shh. Gorgeous. Shh, just so quiet, beautiful. Let me know if my voice is creepy when it whispers. This will be your ASMR. Is it creepy? 
Let me know. I wonder if that's creepy. Because if it's creepy, I'm not doing the ASMR. We'll have someone else do it. But I feel like my whisper is kind of, ooh. I'm good at many things. Whispering is not one of my talents, I feel. <laughs> Style things like fun bag, right? This is just fun. <gasps> How did I not think of this? This bag is the Apple bag for the Big Apple New York City. There you go. I'm sure every New Yorker would hate this, but I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I would be that person to wear this and be like, I'm wearing my Apple bag to the Big Apple. That's what I would put on my Instagram. That'd be my Instagram thing. There we go. Maybe I'll do that afterwards. Follow me guys, at Mason Henry Howell. I'm literally gonna post that. The Apple bag for the Big Apple. $1,850 for this beautiful, beautiful piece. Ah, oh, love you. Love you. By the way, guys, it does have all contra lining, so it is scratch resistant, water resistant, stain resistant on that interior. For those of you who don't know, Alcantara lining is basically like a uh, suede adjacent. Good old Helmet, Helmet Newton? No, not photographer. Helmet Lang? No, not Helmet Lang. Oh my gosh. You guys help me out. Why am I blinking? This is not my day. Who was it? Tom Ford just bought his apartment. It's okay, it'll come to me. Wow, how could I forget his name? Oh gosh, he's a designer. He did all minimalistic. He did basically the suede, this, the faux suede trench coat, the suede uh, Alcantara that water just rolls right off. So chic and minimalistic. Oh my gosh, how guys. Oh well, oh, it'll come to me. Chanel black lambskin vertical flap medium bag. I love this. The beautiful 24 karat plated gold hardware from 91 to 94 era. Holston. Oh my gosh, Gail Downing, thank you so much. Kisses to you, Gail. Holston, that was it, Holston. Oh my God, how could I have messed that up? The Holston did that. Guys, I swear, I know my stuff. I am just, today is just not my day for thinking for some reason. This is from 91 to 94. Vertical quilt is such an amazing thing. Absolutely stunning. If you love, if you want a classic flat bag, but you don't want diamond quilting, Chevron or Vertical Quilt. Vertical Quilt, so rare and hard to find, is a great way to go. Oh, Willie Works and Babs, thank you guys so much for the follow on Amazon. Head over to amazon.com slash what goes around comes around, and you can follow so you don't miss any more of me, me forgetting everything, <laughs> and all these gorgeous bags. So, amazon.com slash what goes around comes around. This piece, $7,400, beautiful black lambskin leather, vertical quilt, you have the slip pocket back here. Look at that. Stunning. You also get this beautiful turn lock CC here. Opens up. It is a single flap. And this is a long shoulder strap here. But you can also, I'll show you a cool trick. But you also have the gorgeous burgundy lining, slip pocket and zip pocket. That burgundy lining was inspired by Coco Chanel's uniforms at the convent, is what she said. Uh, this piece, oh. A beard, how much? This one is $7,400. Look at this, virtually no wear to it. Slip pocket in the back. But that burgundy line, like I said, was inspired by her uniforms Coco Chanel wore at the convent and the orphanage. Um, but if anyone's read a Coco Chanel biography, it always starts out with like the four words, like she was a notorious liar. So we don't know if all this is true. And I guess they spelled her birth certificate long, like C-H-A-S-N-E-L. So there wasn't a lot of information. $7,400, now it is the long shoulder strap, so you can wear a crossbody over your shoulder. But I'm about to show you something. If you wanna wear this, like a smaller shoulder strap, all you have to do, this doesn't harm the bag, just tie this into a loose knot. The chain will, won't even let you like make it into a big knot. And then you easily, look at this, simple, just like that, and you can throw it over your shoulder. And now it's like, a, like an adjustable shoulder strap. And it does not damage your bag, you can use that overnight. But I would just not recommend keeping it like that for like too long, but it should be fine. Should be, it will be fine. $7,400 for this beautiful piece. And look, look how easy that was. It just came right undone. So simple, beautiful piece. I just love this bag. I love the vertical quilt. So chic, so gorgeous, $7,400. Okay guys, are you ready for the last Piece. 
Let's bring it out. This piece. This is an iconic item. Copenhagen style right here to its finest. This is, and I'm putting it on the front. I'll show you guys why here in a minute. This is a Louis Vuitton multicolor calf skin leather trapeze bag. So this bag has a little leather piece right here that does stick down. So if you do ever put it down, just put it on the front and it can just easily sit off the front there like that. Can you see? <laughs> or just like that. Perfect, there we go. Beautiful. But it has this gorgeous little piece right here from Louis Vuitton, Spring Summer 2019 collection. This was under Nicholas Gasquier. It's so cool. It's like if space met the 90s, met watercolor, met Bob Ross, this is it. And look how cool this item is. I'm just obsessed with this. And literally, this is just such a cool street style bag. It would go with anything very Copenhagen style because it would wear kind of the more muted things like I'm wearing now. Throw this on just that little pop that you have there. Spring, summer 2019, $4,150. This piece is no longer in production. Beautiful leather. And then you can almost like feel the paint when you rub your hand over it. Incredible piece. $4,000. $150, can you believe that? Let's look at that interior. Oh look, you even have a zip pocket up front and I love the flap. The flap is like, you think it's gonna be this giant thing, boom, it's just that thin piece but it covers the whole bag, which is incredible. It comes with all of the accoutrements as well. Gorgeous Alcantara lining once again by Halston who came up with the Alcantara lining or made it popular to use because Alcantara lining was first invented for cars because it's a suede, it looks beautiful, but real suede damages so quickly. Alcantara is more water repellent, scratch repellent, dirt repellent, all of it, and more resistant and easy to clean. So, Halston took it and put it on suede, basically, trench coats. I think he even demonstrated, like, on the runway, water coming off of it. Just rolls right off. All right, $4,150 for this incredible, incredible item that we have right here with us. Okay, you guys, I hate to say that is all we have today. I left the shoulder strap out. You guys, today was not my day. Once again, do as I say, not as I do. Put all of your accessories back in the bags with you, just like this, just wrap, wrap it up so you don't lose anything. <laughs> Luckily, we have our little closet here in our studio and I have an amazing, amazing colleague who picks up after me, <laughs> sadly. I'm so sorry because she's the best and she makes sure all of this, basically nothing ever gets lost, scans it in, scans it out, makes sure everything's right. So I apologize to her because sometimes <laughs> I get a little messy back here because I'm just having so much fun with you guys. We can't stop. All right. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in today for our bag brunch here at What Goes Around Comes Around. I hope you had a wonderful mimosa while watching the show and shopping these amazing items. As always, I'm your host, Mason Howell. Don't forget to follow us on amazon.com slash what goes around comes around and hit that follow button so you don't miss any of me or these gorgeous items. Also head over to whatgoesaroundnyc.com. You can hit the add to calendar button so you don't miss out on any shows. We have gorgeous upcoming shows, so many items, new hosts coming your way here soon, the next week or so, so get ready for that. We are so excited for it all. And then, of course, if you're ever in New York City, come visit us at one of our locations and also in Los Angeles as well. Here in New York City, in the heart of the Soho neighborhood, we have two locations, like I was just saying. The one at 351 West Broadway is our original flagship. We are celebrating 30 years of being in business since 1993. Honestly, so exciting and so iconic. We have so many amazing events coming up for the rest of the season. We can't wait to share them with you. Then, of course, if you are ever there, let me know. DM us on Instagram at what goes around NYC or on TikTok. We'll pair you with one of our stylists. We have an amazing denim bar as I'm wearing a pair we have today. These are gorgeous Levi's. And I know I'm not in black though, but we have amazing denim bar, amazing ready to wear and in-store exclusives at all of our locations. So to see them, just DM us. We have to connect you with the stylist. And then just down the road, down the road, just a couple blocks away, a one one three. We start talking like I'm in the country. Just down the road, take a left at the at the corn stand, and you're right there. 
113 Wooster Street. The Atelier is our newest location here in Soho's New York City, just off Wooster Street. We are the studio inside the Atelier. It's a beautiful, beautiful location. Stunning pieces. Once again, let me know if you're here. We had an amazing live shopping audience member come by yesterday. We got her a glass of champagne, showed her around. We tried on tons of items, had a great time. And we do the exact same thing with you. And as always, our Beverly Hills location just off Rodeo's Drive. And I mean, literally a stone's throw. You step off and you're right there. All of our locations have been designed by one, our co-founder, Gerard Mayon. Absolutely incredible, incredible pieces. And then, of course, don't forget to shop 24-7, amazon.com slash what goes around comes around and what goes around nyc.com. As always, everyone, I'm your host, Mason Howell. Here at What Goes Around Comes Around, we're constantly chasing the timeless, the iconic vintage pieces. We're excited to have you guys along for the ride. Take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Live from the Atelier. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Bye.